Hello, I'm Ken Fobb. This is NewsNet Baton Rouge. Grab a tea or coffee as it goes with you headlines and news from our local area and region. Now that the city of St. George has been officially approved by voters from that area of the parish, Mayor President Sarah Weston Broom says her office is receiving many phone calls from other parish citizens with concerns for the future. Her chief administrative officer, Darrell Gissel, says Baton Rouge will lose $43 million from its general fund which currently has about $322 million in it, with an overall budget of $1 billion, which includes funds which have already been dedicated to Breck City Libraries and the Sheriff's Office. However, he says he does not foresee any layoffs for now. The Mayor President, along with the staff and St. George leaders, are scheduled to meet on this coming Friday to discuss the best ways to move forward, while Governor John Bell Edwards says he will meet with St. George leaders before he makes his appointments of an interim mayor and city council for this new city. I will keep you posted, so stay close. According to a recent daily survey of 360 gas stations here in Baton Rouge, there has been a 1.3 cents per gallon decrease in gas prices, which brings the average price for gasoline in Baton Rouge to $2.17 per gallon. The cheapest gas was found to be at $1.99 per gallon, while the most expensive in Baton Rouge was found to be at $2.55. This is less than the national average, which is $2.63 per gallon. Sheriff deputies in Lafayette Parish are investigating an alleged poisoning at the St. Thomas More High School, which took place on October 9th. According to one parent, one student gave another student a bottle of Gatorade that was mixed with blockade a corrosive substance, which completely burned the inside of that student's mouth when he drank it. Another student sat in some of the same liquid that was placed on the bench and the liquid burned through his clothes. The sheriff's office has so far arrested three students that were involved. One was arrested and charged with aggravated battery. The Louisiana State Police recently launched an internal investigation after a number of its current cadets were injured last week. Several state police cadets was significantly injured while engaged in defensive tactics training, which is a highly physical training block consisting of handcuffing, use of expandable batons, physical strikes, blocking and grappling techniques, and pressure points. According to a Louisiana State Police spokesperson, injuries are not uncommon during this phase of training. However, given the number and type of injuries reported last week, sufficient concern was raised to cause the agency to temporarily suspend its physical tactics training while these, these particular incidents and injuries are being investigated. These have been local and regional headlines and news. I'm yours truly, Ken Fox. See you next time right here on NewsNet. That's in route.